Hello and welcome to the next episode of Klingberg Wing Mark II Development. I'm Raul Klingberg, your host. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, ribs for the main wing panels. Now the main wing panels run from the center section out to the winglets and the winglet mount. They're about 18 and a half feet long. Uh, most of the ribs are going to be like I did for the uh, outer wing panels, the tip panels, which are uh, blue Dow styrofoam uh, shape and then uh, basswood cap strips. Now, out on the wing tip, the basswood cap strips are 1 16th of an inch thick because that's how thick the D-tube is out there. For the main wing panel, the D-tube is 3 seconds of an inch thick, so that's how much basswood I have here. Now, uh, this is the rib for the mean aerodynamic cord. This is the average rib length after the spar. The uh, uh, shear web would be like this, and uh, this guy fits in here like this, sort of. I have to, I'll line it up for you here so that the spar cap uh, lines up with the uh, D2. Now, there's a section of the wing that uh, has the flap, uh, and on the flap, no spar caps because it's going to have a uh, sandwich panel skin on it that's uh, fiberglass and uh, some other composite materials. So the ribs there are just formers for the skins, and the skins are structural in that they can carry the loads up and down and fore and aft due to activation and usage of the flaps. Uh, for the Elevon area, uh, the skin of the wing is going to be fabric. And the fabrics, of course, can't carry any appreciable load. Therefore, they're gonna, the fabric gets bonded to uh, some nice wood cap strips. But there's an Elevon there. And the Elevon can generate very significant loads uh, on the ribs up and down as we deflect the Elevon. So the ribs have to be considerably stronger than just uh, for straight ahead flying aerodynamic forces. If you're doing a lot of maneuvering, you go full elevon, the, the loads can get fairly significant in the ribs. So the ribs have to have really good bending stiffness on them. Wasn't sure if basswood would really be enough to do that job. So I thought for a little bit more weight, I can make these things really strong. So what I did is I took basswood sheets, 30, 30 seconds of an inch thick, and you'll see here on this particular one, I was actually uh, fiddling around with doing a splice to see if I could make a splice strong enough. And indeed that worked out quite well, but as it turns out, all of the ribs that have the Elevon are short enough uh, that a single piece of basswood would do the trick. Basswood comes 24 inches long. None of the cap strips I need is longer than 24 inches, so I won't need to do any splicing. On the other side, I've laid on some standard weight unidirectional carbon fiber along the sheet like this and then vacuum bagged it. And then what I did is I used a knife on the other side and I cut through these, then broke them off to get the three quarter inch wide cap strips that I need. So what we have here is a cap strip that is carbon fiber on the inside basswood on the outside. Now this unidirectional carbon fiber, of course, is extremely strong in tension. And it can be almost as strong in compression as long as we don't let it buckle. So how do we do that? By being attached to the basswood, the carbon fiber is now the shape of the rib. As you can see, this is flexible. I can flex it to the rib in that direction. So the, the carbon fiber is now embedded between the foam and the basswood. It really can't buckle you'd have to shove on this really hard and buckle the wood before the carbon fiber would buckle. So for really the strength of this rib is in the carbon fiber and the wood's really there to provide an excellent bonding surface for the fabric. That's the outer skin of the aircraft. So this was a very lightweight way to uh, add phenomenal strength to a rib. So basically we have carbon fiber ribs where the strength portion of the rib, the carbon fiber is only 10 thousandths of an inch thick. So it really doesn't add very much weight. In fact, I have the weights here. Um, the foam rib only, six-tenths of an ounce. Uh, the foam rib with just the cap strips, uh, and that's the cap strips with the carbon fiber, 1.5 ounces for the rib, and then 1.66 ounces when I glue the uh, cap strips onto the rib. So we're adding uh, 1.4, or excuse me, 0.14 ounces of epoxy and micro balloons to attach the uh, cap strips to the rib. You don't see any back here because this area is where the elevon would be. Uh, the elevon starts out about six inches wide and then gets really wide as we go out towards the tip. So not too bad, 1.66 ounces, and uh, the elevon is about 10 feet long. We're going to have one of these every six inches to get a nice shape on the wing. So that means there's going to be 
what, like uh, 21 of these or so. And then at the ends, there's even a different rib that's highly structural for the hinge pins and everything else. Uh, so we're going to be in for a pound and a half, a pound and three quarters in ribs alone along the Elevon section. But given that it's uh, 10 feet long, that's not too bad. Uh, we can live with that. And that, that's on each side. So all of the ribs for the aircraft will end up, and by the time we throw in the Elevon and the rear spar and all that, we're, we're talking three pounds worth of stuff. Uh, and that's not too bad uh, for the whole wing, and the covering doesn't weigh much. So it really turned out to be uh, advantageous to use this design with fabric covering uh, to get a uh, to lower the weight of the main wing section. So we're going to have uh, composite skins out to the end of the flap and then beyond that it's going to be fabric and this is how I'm going to do the ribs. And uh, if you ever want to do it, this is a pretty cool way to uh, solve the problem. Unidirectional carbon fiber over some wood. This could be plywood, could be balsa. And then bend them this way onto your foam formers and you got yourself one heck of a strong rib. So thanks for coming and watching. I uh, hope you make good use of this information. If you have a mind to, please uh, click on the Patreon link in the description and help support this project. Uh, funds are running low, and I can use all the help I can get. Uh, you keep me going on this, and in another six months or so, we'll have something flying. And in the meantime, please fly safe and have fun. Bye for now.